Hey, Dad. How do you tell the four to three and the three to four to start? Okay. Well, here we have our spacers here. If you see, it's got a slight paper in it. So, when you're going from the small size T3 to the larger size T4, our machined low head bolts will fit in here and go flush with the flange and the gasket goes on it. So this would be a three to four. to four. Right. So when we're switching it up, if you'll notice, here's your large taper on the bottom. So this is your T4 size. Here's your T3 size. So you're bolting down to the manifold here. They go flush. Gasket goes on. And there's your three. Big to little. All right, here we got some flanges. We make some stainless steel one inch spacers. We make them in mild steel. And here are some of the things that you don't want. Here's some basic eBay flanges. Uh, they're rough cut on some plasma table or some laser jet. When you're doing a spacer between a divided turbo with a divided manifold, you want to use a divided flange. When you use an open flange, we've documented this on engine dynos as well as chassis dynos, you'll lose um, on your typical 500 horsepower, 600 horsepower street truck, you can lose up to 15 horsepower and much more than that in torque. Um, one thing that comes to mind, you'll see some heat I don't know if you see this in the video, there's some heat discoloration from the cutting. Um, what that does is it makes this surface not flat. It's very hard to retain a gasket when the surfaces aren't concentric. Uh, another thing, you'll notice it's rather thin. Um, once it gets heat soaked, um, it's more likely to warp the thinner it is as opposed to our one inch thick piece. We put these in all of our uh, single swap kits as well as our twin turbo kits. And uh... all right, what we got here are our CNC'd, very concentric, holding the hold any gasket at any, damn near any temperature. So they don't warp, they don't move, they stay. And when we get to some sizes here, uh, our gasket matched T3 flange size. You can see that it's about two and a half inches across. So our CNC spacers match exactly. What we have here on some of the oddball stuff. Quite a bit of area blocked off. I guess we got two and three eighths there. Okay, here we have our CNC T3 flange. It's one inch thick, gasket matched to our manifold in uh, the large style T3 gasket. So the flow's right there. There's a fitment's good. Uh, this, okay, here we have our stainless steel, one inch thick CNC flange, gasket matched to T4 as opposed to your smaller T3 size here. And this is our mild steel flange. It's identical um, with black oxide coating. Here we have our stainless diesel CNC T6 flange. This has a couple really nice features. We've been making them for years. Um, if you'll notice, there's a lip here, a machined lip. We made this for a four inch pipe to go on the outside and then our three and a half inch hot pipes sit just on the inside of this lip. Um, if you'll notice, it's a much nicer way to make a round pipe fit a square T6 turbo inlet. You'll notice here we have some slots in the bracket. When it sits on our turbo with a hot pipe, you can slide it forward and backwards from the exhaust housing. A little bit to take up some variance from machining of exhaust housing locations. 